your family. Oh, Nicholas, I'm just glad that you are back in Emily's life. It's uh, going to be a difficult time, and I'm I'm glad you're here for her support. Mom, you don't have to take care of everyone else. Well, it helps a little, you know. I'm going to miss your father. But right now, there are things that just have to be dealt with. Well, at least let me handle the paperwork. Dr. Williams, you're Okay. <gasps> well, I'm so sorry. Mr. Allen was a good man. Yes. Now, is he Helen and I used to play tricks on each other. We picked on every flaw, every weakness. But he always watched my back when it came to Daddy and everybody else, and I always watched his. When I was little, my uh, nanny used to put my hair in pigtails. <laughs> Helen used to tell me I looked like a poodle. <laughs> I, in turn, told him he looked like a monkey and that he smelled like one, too. That's good. That's a good... It's a good comeback. And one day at school, he overheard a little boy in my class teasing me about my pigtail, so he grabbed him and soaked him in the water fountain until he apologized. You guys really loved each other. We never talked about it. We never used that word. We knew that when the chips were down, we had each other. It made me feel safe to have Alan there, my big brother. The one person who knew what it was like to grow up in this family. I'm scared to live without him. Ago. You with him? No, Emily was. It's a fitting, I suppose. The daughter he raised should be with him, not some random stranger who just showed up on his doorstep one day claiming to be his daughter and wasn't. You know, your family thinks you should never have adopted me. Maybe you shouldn't have. Or let him go into that metro court knowing there was a dangerous shipment in there. And I get silent after they were all been taken hostage, too. Did you know Craig would seize the lobby? No. Did you want Alan to die? Of course not. Then you're not to blame. I just wish I'd realized, you know. I would have done everything so differently. And me too. Your father would be glad you're here. It was too late. Oh, Jason, son. Alan wasn't going to tell you anything that you didn't already know. He loved you deeply. He wanted you to live his dreams. And by the time he realized that you had become your own man, the distance was too great to cross. <laughs> And it's ironic that, that I struggled with Alan as much as he struggled with you. I hope if, if you're ever a parent that, that you'll learn from our mistakes. Let your child be who they want to be. And don't assume that they know how much you love them. 
tell them that as often as you can. You run out of time sooner or later. find me. So I didn't make it back in time. His heart failed. You couldn't have stopped it. You know, I thought he was getting better. I mean, he, he was smiling. He was even, even teasing mom. And then all of a sudden he just arrested. They brought him back, but he never regained consciousness. He wasn't scared. He wasn't in any pain. He just slipped away. It was very peaceful. Thank you for... for being with him. He was the best dad to me. I, I know he made a lot of mistakes with you and AJ, but... He loved us, Jason. I think that's what we can take away from all this. How much our dad loved us. I would, yeah. I'd like a minute uh, along my mask, please. I'd almost convince myself that if I didn't see you, you really wouldn't be gone. That it would just be some horrible mistake. I would come in and find you waking up and demanding to go home and... And that's not true. You are gone. And I have to say goodbye. Oh, my heart. I hope. I hope we 